So this is the relatively new to me Vashti Pilot Grinder. Just got it temporary mounted on my table and we're gonna fix that today by building a stand for it. Because I plan on having this thing for a very long time, kinda wanted to be a relatively nice stand. And the project has two challenges. Number one, it's gotta fit into the design of the shop of what I want everything to kinda fit into being. And the second thing, I only have train rail. So we're gonna build the whole thing out of it, hopefully. See how it goes. Oh, where's Martin? Right here, need him! We're gonna cut this all down here. This part we want, and this part we don't. So we'll be making that into axes! Speaking of axes, what a segue! Check it out! More Blackhawk hatchets. These are made from the exact same train wheel we just cut apart. Ta-da! 19 inch hickory handle. Date is stamped in there 1912. This is serial number 21. Tucked under there. Look at that baby. Look at the texture. Oh, come on, look at that texture. These are available on my website if you're interested in one of them. And speaking of websites, get this. I'd like to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. So I've been using Squarespace for the last couple years for selling everything that I sell, like these axes. Squarespace is the king of anybody can build an awesome looking website using Squarespace. Here's why. Award-winning designer templates for whatever you need. Gallery, blog, website, e-commerce. You name it, they got it. Click and drag like never before, baby. Boom, boom, boom. This old blacksmith can do it, so can you. And should the event arise that you would need some help, 24-7 customer service. Squarespace. And you're like, Tim, I wanna build a website but I don't know how to get the, uh, the name, the uh, www thing. Well, guess what? You can get your domain name right at Squarespace. Not talking about how to build a website, it's up to you now. Do you wanna turn your passion project into a full-time career? You need a website or you need a website for any reason. Doesn't matter what reason it is, does it? No, it doesn't. Squarespace, promo code TIMD at checkout gets you 10% off your first purchase. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Oh man, I just about cut myself to bits with that axe right there. Let's get back to this grinder stand. So I just got it preliminary ground, just cause that was easier when these are two parts. We'll tidy it all up when we're done, but we're gonna start filling up these gaps.
I've been thinking about what I'm gonna put on the top here. Use this piece, we're gonna clean it up a little bit and then we're gonna forge it down, make a plate, it's a bit ridiculous. That'll sit on top, then I gotta figure something out for the bottom. Honestly, getting a bit ridiculous here trying to make these plates out of this train rail. I just threw the top plate on here to see how it's all gonna look. And it looks terrible because it's too thin. So we are gonna put a lip around this thing, beef it out. It should be at least as thick as this web. I think I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker. So, uh, got some more work to do. Just don't have enough material here to get the wrap, the wrap around this edge. So we're gonna make this into flat bar. So we got it all set up here. And we're gonna be tacking the top on, which is awesome. We're gonna stand it up now and just give it a good look. Make sure it's all right before we weld it up. Not totally happy with how this is up here. It's a little rough. I might massage it a little bit just with the grinder. It's just because I ground so much up here. And then this was not that perfect because it was forged pretty rough. Maybe you could see it more in there. Anyways, I'm, yeah, it's pretty good though. I'm going to keep going. And uh, everything else looks really cool. It's pretty cool. You know how I love my rust finish, right? Thinking let's do the same thing to this thing. The only thing is, I have no idea how long we need to let this sit before we get that rust. But we're gonna accelerate it as fast as we can. And we'll see if we have enough time to wrap it up here in this video, or there'll be part two, which I really don't wanna do. We're gonna straight soak it in muriatic acid. This is not something that's very good to do. <laughs> Check it out, it's worked pretty smoking good. I'm really happy with how this looks. Look at that. That looks so good for the amount of time we put into it. It'll ripen up a little bit as we go. Let's get the grinder on and put it in its new home. So this is where the grinder is going to live and this is a 240 volt 
plug. Originally, I was just going to put plugs on everything so I could move things around, but I think I'm just going to wire it in hard, just like I did this one. Seems to work pretty good. So 2 by 72 here, 3 by 90 here. I got the bench grinder here and the buffer. Original concept is that this was going to be a room. So there'd be like a wall right here. And then it would go up to here. The wall would be like right here. That's the grinder room. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But anyways, we're still going to position stuff so that could work. And then uh, I'll just show you this now. These are actually those uh, forged hooks that I made up, except I didn't put a bend on the end. So I can just slip my belts on. So these are all the 3 by 90 and I'll make up a whole bunch more and we'll put them in here for the 2 by 72. Apparently one of the downers to making a grinder stand from train rail is that it's very hard to drill. Okay, check it out. What do you think? This is like the money shot right there. It's pretty cool, right? I think so. I put the controls on the left side because that way when you reach over to do any adjustments, you're kind of not like reaching over the belt. I don't know if that makes sense. Feels right when you see it or that's the way I like to work. However, I'm wondering if that unit should be like right here, you know, but it's not far. I'll see how much I use that. It is a little bit of a, to flip it on, you gotta step to the side, but I think that's okay for now. Anyways, I just put it in the 110. The cord is long enough to go to the 240 volt here, so I just have to spend a little bit of time with that, get that plugged in. I'm not sure about the whole layout here, because there's not that much room in here for all the 2x72 belts. And then this is a gap that I can't utilize that wall very much. I don't know, I'm going to think on the layout of everything. Maybe I should put a belt sander over there. I don't know. But I do know that I need to make a whole bunch more of those for these guys. That would look so cool. A whole row of them. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Am I missing anything obvious that I need to uh, reconfigure in the grinding room? Let me know in the comments below. Blackhawk Hatchets, website, make you Squarespace. See you in the next one. Till then, keep the forge lit. Peace.